Why are you late? <laughs> what? Why are you late? You were eating. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Why were you late? Were you eating? Well, I watch fairy tales, so I don't watch the time. Oh, you didn't take. Oh, uh, yeah. You haven't checked the time. It's okay. You haven't checked the time. Mm -hmm. So, what fairy tale? Anime? What kind of? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're chatting again. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> you know that I can understand. I can see your brother's head. Hello, brother. Hi. I look ugly. I don't look very nice today. I am feeling sick. I feel like I am going to sick like that. Yes, I don't feel well. How about you? Are you okay? Hey, can you hear me? You're not answering. No. Yes. You're not answering. Are you? Oh. Okay? What was that? Is it noisy? No, my mother asked. Your brother is noisy? What? You can't hear me? What? He is playing with his toy. Can you hear me? Yes, I say that. He playing with his toy. Oh, it's not there. I see there. We can just chat um while we are talking. I will be we are discussing our topic. Oh, wait. On Saturday, we will be having a test. Okay? Huh? On Saturday, we will be what? having a test. Mm -hmm. What? On Saturday, we will be having our test. Okay. okay. That is on Saturday. Okay, that is on Saturday. Okay, and I and I am thinking after our test on Saturday, on the next Tuesday, I am giving you another materials here. You know, something that is fun to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, I think after this, if we finish early, we, I can show you what um what kind of material is that. Okay. I I notice you're not kind of a dancer. You don't like dancing. Don't you like dancing? Not really. Oh, not really. Okay, so remember, we are done with type 1 conditional sentences and type 2. Now we are going to learn about type 3. Are we done with this? Oh, yes, yeah, so we are done with this. Um, um, I will just, um, what was the form again? It is... It is a past perfect tense and future perfect tense in the past tense. Example. If I had gone to the party, I would have gotten someone to go with. Okay, like that. All in past perfect tense and future perfect tense in the past tense. 
Okay, example. Um, in the affirmative, the form is subject plus had plus past participle. Example, they had finished before I arrived. This was just only a review. I know that you that you learned this already. So the form for to be to be specific. The form of the type three conditional sentence is about if plus subject plus had, and verb in the past part in the past tense, comma subject again plus would or could plus have and plus verb in the past tense. Example: If she had been at class yesterday, she would have done her homework. Like that. Uh huh. So <coughs> this seems I have also okay. Number one, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. They blank out if the weather had been nice. They would have gone out if the weather had been nice. Very good. Number two. We would have had a better dinner if we had gone to a good restaurant. Very good. Next. If my parents haven't been so tired, they would have watched the, the flame on screen. Very good. Haven't been so tired. Number three. They would have arrived on time if the boy had taken the the boy okay. had taken to school. Okay. How about um, how about another one? If you had enough fresh green vegetable, your salad haven't wouldn't have tasted better. Oh, I, um, I I heard you said enough. It is but. Um, just um, no T, wrong spelling. Okay, this is kind of boring. Uh, our class is kind of boring because it is just full of um, practice like that. I will have you. I will introduce you to another lesson. And that's it. That's it. I think this will suit you. I don't know if the fun for flyers or cat hmm i will try this is part one i guess okay <laughs> Welcome to Pantado. Are you in grade six? Are you in grade six? Grade five. Oh, grade five. Next year you will be in grade six. Okay, I'm sorry. Here. This is another lesson. Hello. Okay, so these are different ways to say hello. What's this? Good afternoon, good evening. Okay, hello, hi. Goodbye, bye. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yeah. See you later, see you again. See you tomorrow, no? Um, is this too childish for you? <laughs> is this, um, yes. Do you think so? Is it too childish for you? How about cat? I am looking forward to have another book for you. Book? Wait. Then how about this? Okay, I think here it is. Ta-da! Okay. 
<laughs> so that we can proceed to another lesson. Okay, so this is key English test. Um, key English test teach you about um, um, improves your listening skill, your reading skills, your speaking skills, and your writing skills. You okay? But first, I uh, I will introduce you to this is a test. Oh, um, not just a, uh, this is not exactly a test. It's like pre-test every day. Yes, it's like pre-test every day. I just um let me just introduce this to you. Maybe you are interested because I find out that that our past lesson seems um it's like you're bored every time. <laughs> like that. You're not even listening sometimes. Okay, so we have vocabulary here. We have new words. Why are you complaining? I know that you like it. Okay, what is the first word? Vocabulary. Terrible. You're Terrible. Bored. You're bored? <laughs> are you bored? No! No. Okay, so terrible. <coughs> and what is terrible? It means very unpleasant, making you feel very happy, upset, or frightened. 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 Okay, again. Frightened. Okay, frightened. Okay, you can use the word ter terrible. Terrible. Okay, how about number two? Traffic is mean the vehicles that are on the road. At a particular time. Okay, so that is traffic. Number three? Clerk. What is a clerk? It means a person whose job is keep the records or announce is in an office, shop, or a store. And etc. That is... Etc. Oops. Why is it? It is etc. Like that. This is how it means. Can you see it? Oh. Etc. <laughs> okay, no. Can you read it? A chatterer. Yes, a chatterer. It means a lot more. Okay. How about number four? <laughs> Local is mean belonging to or collected with the particular place or error that you're talking about or with the place where you live. Okay, so that means local. You're just in a particular place or area, and that is where you live. Okay, how about number five? Clever is mean quick at learning and understand things. Yes, that is what you are. You're very clever. Um, with too much clever, it seems like you're bored every class. <laughs> I think that our class seems to be so easy for you. You keep on complaining, but no. you can answer. No, I have learned. <laughs> okay, next, go for a drive means go for a drive is also the same as saying drive. Okay. Number seven. Opposite. It's on the other side of a particular error from somebody or something and usually facing them. Facing them. Facing. Facing. Uh, yes, facing. facing them. Like facing them. Okay. Number eight. Absolutely. What is absolutely? Absolutely. 
Yes. It's mean used to emphasize that something is completely true. Yes, yeah. Um, when there is something true, your reaction must be absolutely. Okay, so we have here part one of the listening test. Listen, questions one to five. You will hear five conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put the tick under the right answer. Example. This is the key English test. Paper two, listening. Test number one. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. I, the I can see anything money. except the example. I don't see the question. You will hear five short conversations. Here is an example. Example. What time is it? Excuse me, can you tell me the time? Yes, it's nine o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so can you see the tick? Can you, can you see the correct, like that, the check sign on the letter C? Nine o'clock? Yes. Okay, so that is what you're going to do. This is the key English test. Okay, so here it is. Listen. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What have they forgotten? I've got the passports here. And the tickets are in my bag. What about the camera? Oh, no! I've left it at home. And I really wanted to take some holiday photos. Now listen again. I've got the passports here. And the tickets are in my bag. What about the camera? Oh, no! I've left it at home. And I really wanted to take some holiday photos. What is the answer for number one? B. B. Okay. Now we are ready to start. Okay, so that is letter B. Look at... Now listen again. And I really want... Two. What time does the train go? Hurry up. We'll be late. What time does the train go? At 6.15. We've got to leave in 10 minutes. I'm nearly ready. Now listen again. Hurry up. <laughs> we'll be late. What time does the train go? At 6.15. We've got to leave in 10 minutes. I'm nearly ready. How about number two? What's the answer? C? No, you're wrong. That is letter A. A. <laughs> you didn't, it's A. You didn't like I just kidding. Oh, no, you shouldn't kid. You must, you must tell me the correct answer. Mm -hmm. You must listen carefully, okay? Number three, four, and five, listen. Three. Where is room 22? Can you tell me the way to room 22? Well, go straight down here, and it's the second door on the right. Do I have to go through the main hall? No, 
It's the door on the right just before you get to the main hall. Now listen again. Can you tell me the way to room 22? Well, go straight down here, and it's the second door on the right. Do I have to go through the main hall? No, it's the door on the right just before you get to the main hall. Okay, so what's your answer for number three? It's B. B, very good. Okay, number four. Four. Which man I wants to see him? I can see ABC. Which man wants to see me? The one over there. Wearing a hat. The one with the glasses? No, not him. The other one. Now listen again. Which man wants to see me? The one over there, wearing a hat. The one with the glasses? No, not him. The other one. What's the answer for number four? Hey. Okay, very good. So, number five. Five. How did the woman get to work? Oh, the traffic's terrible today. Yes, it took me 40 minutes by bus. Well, I drove and it took me an hour. An hour? It's probably quicker by bicycle. Now listen again. Now oh, what? The traffic's terrible what? today. Yes, it took me 40 minutes by bus. Well, I drove and it took me an hour. An hour? It's probably quicker by bicycle. Can you hear me, Father? What? What's the answer for number five? C. C, very good. She drove to work. Now, this one. You're going to listen to Paul to a friend about his family. What does each person do? Asak-sak. Okay. Who's that? Oh, my mother. No, look. What are you saying? No, she told me to... Plug in the wire for the for the line. Did you write it in the chat? What do you mean? Can you write it in the chat? In the text? Okay. My my mother told me to plug in the wire for the light. Yeah. time in our country. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Hello, father. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's not playing. Listen to Paul talking to a friend about his family. What does each person do? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sally, my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is. 
But I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, of course. I've seen him there. My mother says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Hmm. Um, are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. Now listen again. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sammy, oh. my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is, but I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, of course. I've seen him there. My mother says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Mm. Um, are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. Okay, so did you get it? Or that was just too fast? This is the end of part yeah, two. That was too fast. <laughs> then you must improve your listening skills. I think this is very good. I think it's too fast. I think this is the, I think this is the appropriate um this is the appropriate material for us. It's not childish and it's very advanced. And here you can you can test your listening skills. Okay, so can what you did you go? I will play it again. Listen very carefully, okay? Write your paper six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that, and quickly write the letters. Okay. Now look at part two. Listen to Paul talking to a friend about his family. What does each person do? For question six to ten. Now look at part two. What does each person do? For question six to ten, write a letter a to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Listen. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sally, my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is, but I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, of course. I've seen him there. My mother says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Hmm. Um... Are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. Now listen again. Oh, now what happened? Again. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sally, my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is, but I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. 
And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, of course. I've seen him there. Oh, really? My mother oh, says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Hmm. Um, are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. Now, I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. Did you get it? Or are you still... Sister. 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 Um, what number did you... Um, you, um, you don't have an answer. Number seven. I number six. Only six. six. Only six. Oh, you didn't get it? I think no? it's student. Yes, it is a student. student. Very good. It is student because he is studying French. So that means he is a student. How about David? G? Oh, yes, teacher. a teacher. Very good. And number eight? E. E, very good. And number nine? B? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ten. A. Very good. You get it. You told me it was hard, but it, it didn't. It's not. Oh, I scare. Oh, you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's okay. So was it okay? Is it is it challenging? <laughs> <laughs> is it challenging? Is it okay or you or no? What? Is this okay? The cat is okay? Yeah. Okay. So smile now. Smile, what? smile. Okay, very good. Another one. <laughs> okay. So um because you um you join Zoom very late, you have only we only have a few time to study. We will continue this. We'll continue cat next meeting, okay? On Thursday. I was worried you don't want to study. I thought we were just going to study tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I will see you tomorrow. I know, on Thursday. Goodbye. What are you doing after this? Um, no, nothing. I think you're eating. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I am going to eat. And after That's I... That's why you say nothing. Oh, um... Not for... Um, no, nothing in specific. After this, I am just going to save our video. Evaluation, I... Close my laptop and then eat, and then after I eat, I will, I will do the dishes. It's like um um I do that every day. That's why I think it is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing special. I mean. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jade. <laughs> Jade. <laughs>